Hey everyone, it's Zoko here with a new, new work, a new, I have a video for you today. We are going to be focused on the perks for PVE in this one. It should be pretty straightforward once we get going, but if you're a new or returning player to New World, I do news and guides about the game on this channel. So if you appreciate this type of content and want to learn more, consider hitting the like button and subscribing to stay up to date with some of the latest tips and tricks. All right, let's get to it. First and foremost, let's do one of the biggest perks right away. This may actually be the biggest to be fair, but one of the most important perks you can get on your gear for PVE is ward for every piece of ward you get you can get up to 4.9 percent reduced damage a piece against a specific mob type now if you keep playing this game eventually you will have a different set of gear depending on the expedition when i say a different set i mean each one with a different ward type so that's angry earth corrupted lost and ancient i know once you start running mutated expeditions at a certain point this will be required my old group ran a full set of ward gear for their M10 runs, and because you only have like a certain amount of mutated runs a week, they insisted anyone else joining them have a full set of ward as well. This absolutely helps with your survivability and is a, like, a must have for any serious expedition runner. Now, side note, this is what makes the new expedition in Brimstone Sands particularly interesting. Apparently, it will have two different mob types in that dungeon, so mutations for that should be pretty fun. Now for the second perk on armor to look out for refreshing is a really, really good one. This one reduces your cooldowns by 2.9% a piece. I would say you really need like three or four pieces on this uh, on your gear to make a noticeable difference in my opinion, but this is always a good option when it comes to PVE. Being able to go back to your main skills faster really helps DPS and survivability. It's never a bad trait to have on your kit. Now for a third perk on your armor, this one is rather up to you. Things like uh, Invigorated or Vigor are good to have. Freedom, not so much. This is really one when it comes to PvP, but if in PvE, if you're getting rooted a bunch, you are likely doing something mechanically wrong and just need to do better, I guess. All right, now let's talk about our weapons. First of all, in PvE, if you can, you should be using a weapon that the enemies you are fighting are naturally weak to. Here is a chart for that so you can see everything for yourself. This does quite a bit to help with DPS and you should utilize it whenever possible. This is why it helps to have multiple weapon builds ready to go. Now obviously that takes a time, bit of time to set up, but for those of you who are interested in min-maxing builds, this is what you are aiming for. On top of that, always make use of food, honing stones, and coatings on your weapons to maximize your DPS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I clicked on a video on perks, you fucking dick. All right, all right. Now, just like with your armor wards, weapons can have a perk called Bane that increases damage against a certain mob type. So just like before, this is with those same four mob types just applied to a weapon offensively. This perk will increase damage up to 15% if the weapon is at 625 gear score. It should be pretty obvious why this is such a necessary perk to have when it comes to PvE. 15% is an insane boost to damage nobody should be missing out on. While it might get memed on a bit for PvP, Keen is still very much a good option for PvE. This perk increases crit chance by 12%. Now, until mobs start wearing resilient gear to ruin our current meta, I think Keen will remain a really good choice when it comes to PvE. I would say Bane is a must-have and Keen is probably second. Now, a case can be made for some of the others, I believe, but I will leave it to you guys to do the battle in the comments. If you can have your pick of a third weapon perk, Enchanted will be good here. Enchanted increases light and heavy attacks by 9.8% damage, and because this game places just a lot of emphasis on light and heavy attacks, it makes this perk quite valuable. Now you can opt for something like Keenly Empowered or maybe Vicious instead, but basically if it's on your weapon, it should be damage related. If you have regular Keen, I would probably go with Empowered, because Keenly Empowered gives you like 15% damage buff for 5 seconds after a crit. It does have a 10 second cooldown after it gets triggered, but pairing this with Keen, which has an increased critical chance, you can start to see how these perks complement each other and start to snowball some damage. It needs to be mentioned there are a lot of weapon perks that add extra benefit to your skills, and because of that, things 
become much more tailored to what you specifically have going on so if you feel like you need whatever weapon perk on your weapon and you can't get that perk on another piece then yeah go for it more power to you now this video did not go over pvp perks at all but don't worry i got you covered with a video talking about some of the most sought after pvp perks in the game like subscribe and leave a comment with how many gear sets you actually have i'm zoko and i'm out of here